What's going on fish keepers? George from South Florida African Cichlids here. Now before we jump into how to paint your background with Plasti Dip, let's take a look at what I bought this weekend. So as you can see we have two 40 gallon breeders, we have the Fluval Q1 air pump, we have our sponge filters ready, our Plasti Dip, our air hose, we got a nice stand which I will leave a link to in the description, we got it for a discount and we also have a DIY egg crate lids. I'm gonna be showcasing various parts of this dual 40 gallon build on my channel so if you aren't subscribed already please make sure to do so and if you haven't checked out the video on the Fluval Q1 or sponge filters check them out too they're a great source of information. So as with any new tank you want to make sure the glass is really clean before you either fill it up or in this case we're gonna paint it. So what I like to do is I just like to have a damp bounty and just clean it off really good on the outside, dry it off. If you're outside with a small breeze, you know, just give it five minutes. Make sure everything's nice and dry before you actually go in there with the paint. So we did go with Plasti Dip for this project for a few reasons. Well, first of all, the most important reason is I've never painted a paint that tank before. <laughs> So I wanted to make sure, you know, if I messed up, it was something that could come off fairly easy. I have used a Plasti Dip before to paint like car emblems, things like that, but never the back of a tank. I've heard people using the Rust-Oleum as well, but that'll be very hard to take off. Uh, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not the greatest at painting the tank, and trust me, if I could do it, you could do it. Uh, the best technique that I found is moving it very fast. So pretty much having the can rattle as you're painting. Um, and I would recommend just being about like 6 to 8 inches away from the tank. If you get too far back, you're just going to get like little micro paint bubbles on the glass. And you're not really going to be filling in anything. And this took me a little while to learn. So... You can see here this is actually the first coat and you'll see when we move on to the second coat and to the sides you'll definitely see some improvements. It did take me three coats to complete this tank and on this tank I did uh, the front and the two sides. On the other tank I only did the back. The reason for that is because the way my house is set up when you walk in through the front door the tanks are going to be right on your left and right there by the front door is a big old window that my mom likes to keep open so the tanks we're going to get the top tank in particular is going to get a ton of light so i blacked out the sides so it wouldn't grow too much algae and also because if you look at it from the front it really does look great but i would recommend getting some really good led lights if you have an all black tank to make the rest of the colors in there stand out. I just had a fluorescent for now. And it gets the job done, but it definitely doesn't look spectacular. You can see the side here. You can see I'm making some progress, uh, moving a bit faster now. This is pretty much the pace that you want to do it at. You see I'm shaking the can while I'm, I'm painting as well. Make sure you cover the front of the glass. If you have a helper, that's the best. Thank you to my girlfriend, Amanda, for helping me. Yeah, you want to cover it with the... And we actually used the cardboard that came with the tanks to cover the front just so you don't get any overspray on the front, on the front glass. Again, it is Plasti Dip, so it's no big deal, but it's better not to have a mess. So both these tanks took two cans to complete with three coats each. Uh, one tank got the back and the sides and the other tank just got the back painted. I thought I was gonna have to go get more but it turns out I just had enough. So with one can you might be able to do two 40 gallon breeders if you've done this before. If you've never done it before and you have to do two tanks and you're just even if you're just doing the back I would get two cans always get more you don't want to have to run back at Home Depot at the end of the day and you know be looking for more stuff and about the time that it took me it took me between 45 minutes to an hour to uh, fully paint these two tanks with 
three coats on them. So the day we were doing this, it was a little bit breezy outside and we only had to wait, you know, 10 minutes or so in between coats. So that definitely helps. Another great tip is if you do have a helper, uh, have them stand on the opposite side from where you're painting from and have them tell you where you have gaps, things like that. So you're just not wasting paint. You just use it in the areas that you need it. So this is the final result and I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. Here I'll show you some more pictures. But anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching and if you did make it this far, please like the video. I'll be bringing out more videos and pictures on this uh, double 40 gallon breeder project that I set up. It's actually already running and has fish in it, but you guys are going to have to stay tuned to see that. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later.